Okay, I have to say it gives me real pleasure to welcome our next guest to the show, Limerick All-Ireland winner, Seamus Hickey. Hello. Hi, Joe. How are you doing, my man? You're going to have to get used to that. Uh, I, it's pretty cool. I got used to it very quickly, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> after your final whistle yesterday, it sounded good immediately. I won't take getting used to it. Yeah. Uh, I know we're meant to be impartial and everything, but like, I'm thrilled for you. I think everybody here in Off the Ball is thrilled for you. You've kind of been talking to us for a decade maybe at this stage and done some bits of work with us and we were all hoping that you'd do this one day. I won't lie, I was starting to think the odds were slimming. Yeah, uh, listen, no, I, I said it to, I said it to, I was talking to one of the guys earlier, like so, the likes of so Barry Murphy, there's a couple of guys who were, who, who were off the, straight off the 21s who, who this is their first year on the panel <laughs> and they, they think this is every year, they think this is, this is what happens uh, year after year uh, in Limerick, so, uh, but yeah, no. There was times. There was times I I found this difficult to see. Like so, it's I feel very blessed and privileged to be part of a group that we have. Uh, it's it's special to to be part of history. Is is something incredible. So uh, yeah, they, they, they're a special bunch of lads, and I'm just I'm, I'm lucky to be part. Of it. Yeah, um, I mean, you go through your ten, twelve year, twelve years now. I think it is, and you've you've all, you know you know an all Ireland final defeat i mean you had a very tough day against Eddie Brennan that day not to bring that up i mean that's maybe a bit easier to to swallow now and and right. like you know managerial strife at times and semi final defeats epic ones at that and managers coming and going and new players coming and going and probably your friends retiring like there's been a lot packed in here i i, I presume all of that must swirl around for you uh, listen no, like in fairness uh, the, the the lead up to the to the game was was excellent um it's one thing I think that we've really been benefited from this year was the the approach of John John Kiley and our entire our entire I suppose, infrastructure around the team has been it's just been fantastic. You wouldn't know that the average age of our team is 22 or 23. You wouldn't know that um, you know that, that that sometimes you wouldn't even know there's a game coming the week that we're training. It's it's so grounded. It's so even and. Um, it's just balanced. I suppose a lot of the a lot of the emotion that that we associate with Limerick and Limerick hurling, and um, but a lot of the teams that, that I've been on, uh, we were kind of we, we were trying to replace that emotion with regular, dependable practice. That, mm. So stuff that you can rely on when, when things go bad. Uh, emotion is 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 treacherous at times. I know my own passions and things like that let me down. So you know, I I think John from the very beginning this year set an excellent tone. Uh, and carried it through. I, I think what he said internally to us after after the the, the quarter final and the semi final was on the money. What he said externally was was probably even better. Um, mm. I think he I think he kind of hit the notes that needed to be hit. And running into the final, there wasn't even a whole pile of room to be thinking about all the different things mm. from a personal note or anything like that. I found this year more than anything, I, you get lost in the group. You 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 lose the you you lose the eye and. Uh, you just you just become part of of a unit that is that is well drilled, well versed, knows what we're doing, uh, and it was it was a breath of fresh air really. So um, yeah, afterwards afterwards I thought straight away like Gavin O'Mahony, James Ryan, just retired yeah. guys that I've played since under fourteen with guys who've given everything. I met Stephen Lucy, Brian Geary, our selector. You know, it's, it's, listen, the list is exhaustive. We go back to the nineties. Kieran Carey um, was there on Sunday, and you know. These are great, great Limerick men, great Limerick hurlers, uh, and you know, I'm privileged to, to actually have a Celtic cross. I guess a question you can answer now: At what stage of this year did you think we have a chance of winning the All Ireland? A good chance uh, to win the All Ireland? It actually never really it, it didn't cross my after the after the league uh, after the league game against Galway. I was convinced that whatever team beat us this year would have had to do an exceptional job to do it mm. they would have to bring a, a a serious performance and they'd have to perform right until the end of the game to beat us uh, and that was just after the Galway game so I said this will be this will be a tough ask for any team to, to actually come up against Limerick and and beat them um, I probably thought that that you know it might be next year or the year after where, where the whole thing came to fruition uh, based on you know John was just only second year and and the, the age profile and stuff so mm. it probably didn't cross my mind I didn't think about all Ireland's. I didn't think about a lot of that stuff. Uh, when we beat Kilkenny, it was very real. Uh, the the game was on, um, and you know, 
once once I, I was I was I was lucky enough to be on the field for the final whistle against Cork and, and that's a that's a special feeling. So that was cool knowing we were going to an Ireland final. Yeah. Um so you know we we, we kind of grew in belief in so far as the teams we were playing were good teams, uh beating Galway, you know, beating Clare in the league quarter final, come up against tip taking tip to extra time. You know, these were good teams we were playing and matching. Mm. So it, it kind of probably Opened our eyes to what we had um, a bit earlier than what we, I suppose, we ourselves would have would, would have seen it. The camera, I'm, I'm sure people have probably mentioned it to you. The TV pictures afterwards seem to pick out you quite a bit on the pitch at full time. I don't know. Sympathy, we, I think, is the is, is the main thing. <laughs> were, you, were you aware yeah, of that? Was yeah. that on the the big screen? No, no listen, I, I didn't. I'll be honest. I was lost in I was lost in my own family at that stage. I was uh, yeah. my, my I was I was either looking for I was either looking for my mother and father and my brothers, or I was looking or I was walking around with my my kids. Uh, and so, like, that's what that's what that's what made it in, in, incredibly special for me. It's probably you know myself and Tom Tom Condon are the only ones with with with, with kids on, on the team <laughs> a lot a lot of them don't know what to make of a lot of them don't know what to make of the entourage that I bring around but um it's that was that's what made it for me that's what makes it super special some of the images that I have from yesterday with with my two boys and and, and my my little girl Anna um like I'll have them forever and yeah. you know they'll be special forever I'm thrilled to hear that because I was watching on the, the TV either picked you out specifically or at times you were just there in the background with your daughter, Anna. Um, and I couldn't tell if you were soaking it all in and the happiest man on the planet or if there was a slight detachment because you hadn't actually got onto the pitch in this particular game. Of course, you're an all Ireland winner and you were on the semi-final pitch at uh, full time. I, I, I couldn't work out if it was a Paul Scholes, Roy, Th- Roy Keane thing going on. <laughs> no, to me, it was the... I'll be honest. I uh, listen. I, I I was I was crying like a baby after after like I I've been holding back emotion for for a lot of this year. Like in 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 so far as you know what whatever the future holds, but it's it's just an incredible feeling to, to like only one team in in the country in in hurling uh, can can end the year as Lee McCarthy champions, and and that's us this year. Um, I've I've watched it year after year after year being somebody else. So. It just the the realization of that, and, and I suppose the, the the experiences that I had that I that I was pushing away for the week leading up to the game, and and the people I'd seen and all that. Like so that that just kind of that was overwhelming. Like it was, it was probably the emotion that that, that you're trying to hold back. It it just bursts, and mm. uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I was wondering what triggered it actually, because at one point you're literally just bawling, and your daughter is looking at daddy, thinking, <laughs> "What's happening sure, here?" Sure. I hope. Okay, I didn't actually. See, I didn't see a lot of this. No, so oh yeah, no. There's, there's a there's uh, a there's a shot of you. I mean, when you say you were, you were emotional, I mean, there's a shot of you, like hand over your face in floods of tears, holding your daughter. And I was thinking, I was yeah, like, my, is that okay? And I thought, and I thought I'd gone schizophrenic. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, no. What triggered it? Yeah, it was probably my mum and dad. Yeah, no, seeing my mum and dad probably probably like because. If you're talk, if you're thinking about the journey and and you're thinking about the steps along the journey, it's the people who are with you the longest on it. Uh, was is what does it? Yeah. Um, Did they get down onto the pitch, Seamus? No, no. I suppose it, to be fair, see, the, the security is fairly tight yeah. uh, on the field. The fact that I got the two boys and Anna on, and and my wife was probably one of the few um, uh, significant others to get on. So uh, it, it, I suppose that was probably because of the two boys and the needle minding. So. Uh, no, they didn't get onto it. Listen, that's the kind of protocols. Mm. It's a it's a mix between, especially as players. It's a it's a fabulous thing to have the pitch to ourselves after mm. the game mm. and to be able to savor it with each other. And then you kind of want to have this very select few, but like you, you can't. It, it's a gray. It's a very gray area. Yeah. Then once you get it, to that. and were you were you, um, were you able was, to see them? Like, did you see where they were sitting? Kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But sure, that was it. Was the eye contact with them and it was. Uh, it was the lock and eyes, hands on head, disbelief kind of stuff that wow. that kicked it off. Yeah. yeah, Jeez, that'd set you off again. Really thinking about it, wouldn't it? Uh, not here. No, no. Don't do this to me. <laughs> don't do it to me. But, uh, I won't. I won't. Yeah. Well, I mean, so they, they're just dis- they're just thrilled in the, in the crowd kind of thing. I guess that's that's uh, one of the maybe. images. Yeah, and any 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 sports person will tell you that that their success is is rarely their own. It's it's shared with so many people that that have that have facilitated them. Like, 
and whether it's our clubs, whether it's our, our underage coaches or whether it's our, our, our fathers and mothers for taking us around the country underage, whether it's my wife for minding three children on her own on a Tuesday. Yeah, you know, it's it's these people that facilitate you living a dream. And like I, I feel like a, a child sometimes uh, living a you know <laughs> living a life, a double life uh, as a as a fellow who's pursuing a boyhood dream and a, and you know a grown up with responsibilities in a family. So yeah, yeah. And did they did the not getting thing? Did the, the not getting on in this particular game? Taint is even well, too strong a word. Where, where, where did in, that in, figure? In, in the final, not so much because uh, I I had I got on in the in the semi and I felt like I contributed. And I, yeah. I, 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 did, I did a good job uh, and I I played the role I was meant to play. I was ready to come on, but Dan Dearman and Declan were were solid. They were they were they were healthy. They were fit. They were good. So it's um, you know I didn't have a job to do. Uh, so it and the fact that Richie and Tom got on made it a bit special. So I. I didn't feel it myself, yeah. genuinely, and I, I mean that. I mean that as as sincere as I can as I can say it. Yeah, it, it makes it a bit more palatable for you if you can see that you do, there's no there's not a gaping hole here for you to go and fill. Yeah, like, I've done I've done I've done everything I could, and and I and I did what I was asked to do, and I did it as part of a group that that I I truly love and, and been part of. So yeah, you know what's left what's left to what's left to do. Yeah, God, amazing stuff. You must be just uh, can't wait for the next few days. Uh, listen, we're going home to Limerick tonight. It's going to be incredible. So, uh, I think our train is leaving. So, <laughs> yeah, you're getting knocks in the door there, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. think that's, that's for the train. Yeah. Well, listen, I wouldn't forget. We wouldn't forget ourselves if you missed out on the homecoming after all this. So, um, <laughs> we'll let you go. Do you know one final word then? Um, like the fans were incredible, weren't they? I mean, they're kind of a special bunch, and they get very excited about this team. I think it's probably worth even acknowledging them because they're it's actually a part it, of the Limerick story more so than lots Limerick. of other counties. It is Limerick. It is like it's it's just the people in Limerick, and and like in years gone by, we 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 kind of just wanted to win a game to get the people on our back uh, on on behind us. And when Limerick people rowing behind you, you're on the crest of a wave. This year, it was almost <laughs> we're trying to separate ourselves from the wave and and just just kind of be our own team and get there. Uh, it's only it's only then when you when when you park the bus and, and you take a look that uh, you you acknowledge the the roar in the semi final against Cork. The yeah. roar when we came out. In the All Ireland final, the, the noise, the volume, and the colour that they bring, like it's, uh, it's class, and and the fact that it means so much to so many people, that's sinking in today as well. The yeah, I, I, that, I guess the amount of people that reach out to say that, that they witnessed it, that they were there, it, it's special. Yeah, 90, 98 year old flying home from Chicago. I mean, that that was just. Yeah, the... I met him. I Did met you, him. Yeah. John Hunt? What yeah. a man! My God. Unbelievable. Yeah, uh, what a day for him. It's it's amazing what sport yeah. can do. I don't want you to miss your train, so we'll let yeah. you go. We'll catch up with you over the long winter ahead at some stage. Gentlemen, thanks a million. All right, well done again. Dim Nakaboo. Hey, hope you enjoyed that latest offering from Off The Ball. If you want to subscribe, and you should, check out just up here. All our latest stuff is just down here. Generally, knock yourself out. <laughs>